Traveled overseas, been around the world. I'm a superstar. That's my calling. You know. Hey! This guy was a laughing fool. We didn't do that. We didn't have the mind to do that. He traveled overseas, been around the world. I'm a superstar. That's my calling. You know. Hey! Say that's my calling. You know. Say that's my calling. You know. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's my call. Get, get, t, t, t. That's my call. <laughs> hi guys welcome to the channel my name is philomena moses lawson if you're seeing me for the very first time you're welcome please i they beg you if you want to make a new down you want to make a new down new down new down no new down new down new down for you what am i saying okay singing we can be brothers out so i'm gonna be singing for you people <laughs> anyways please subscribe all those songs that just to make you shout try me you subscribe for me we're trying to get to 50k thank you so much now let's dive right into the video <laughs> So the fights that happened, I know some of the ones that you they sing, people they fight, you they sing. And I go try make on a no go this. And I no go this. What happened? I know that I'm late to the party, but I just thought to come out here and give you people my own narration of how the fight started. We're going to talk about a couple of fights, the fights that happened between White Money and Ilebayi, obviously. We're going to talk about the fights that happened with Alex and Ike, obviously, and of course the fight that happened with Adekune, Venita, and a sprinkle of Alex there, you know, somewhere. So let me start with the obvious one, Ilebaye and White Money. So what had happened was that Ilebaye was crying. They just first showed us the camera of Ilebaye crying. She and Alex, they were somewhere in the um, staircase area and she was just concerned and she was just like, no, he won't do that, he won't do that. At this point, we don't know what was going on. You know, so much later, they went to the lounge, the area where the computer and the keyboard was, and Ilebaye was just sitting there and just explaining that, oh, that she was there. White Money just came and told her that she should leave the place Place and reduce the song and he just put up the song that he won't do that to anybody else but it has reached her now he's doing it at this point when money now came out of the bathroom he got to the place where Ilebaye was explaining to everybody that he reduced the song and from his own point of view he said that Ilebaye you were playing this song and I came and told you that oh reduce it and you disrespected me three times I kept reducing it and you kept increasing it I kept reducing it and you kept distributing it and that was why I put it off Ilebaye kept saying but you were also playing this song loud last night and and then I, you did not reduce it. I was hearing this thing in my sleep. Why would he say, but okay, this afternoon, I reduced this song because of you when you wanted to lie down here in the lounge. I reduced it because of you and I was like, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? So why are you making it a big deal that I asked you to reduce it? I didn't stop you from doing your rager or even listening to the sound. As a matter of fact, you were not even singing. You just sat here and was listening to it. Just reduce it and you refused. At this point, Elebae stood up and was crying and she was like, if it was Sparrow, you were not going to do this thing to him. If it was Messi, we're not going to do this to him. It is because it's me. White money I've been watching you. I've been watching you in this house. I say, yo, at this point, yeah, plenty people don't gather, obviously. So now, Alex had to carry um, Ilebaye, took her to the lounge area. They were also holding white money. White money, Shan no agree. He was trying to explain. He said, this thing that you're doing, don't do it with me. This thing you're doing, don't do it with me. This thing you're doing, don't... Well, what's it be the thing she did do it? She's not going to do it with you. Anyways, she was just like, this doesn't even make any sense. So Mercy came at this point. Now, so Mercy take her into Wala. Mercy came at this point, and Mercy was like, but why is Ilebaye even here touching this computer at this time? Is she even supposed to be touching this computer? She went there, so she knows that she knows to be a place computer. And the housemates, we all know the people that are put in charge of this whole thing. If it's not Soma, it's Pere. If it's not Pere, it's White Money. If our Pere was not even really touching, even Prince was not even really touching this thing. We know these people that are in charge. So why did Ilebaye feel the need to come and sit down here and start operating this computer at this time? Now, so Ilebaye enter. Oh, wait, what is Messi saying there? Messi, what are you saying? Let me hear what she's saying. Alex, they won't say, wait now. Ilebaye said, no, what is Messi saying? If it's somebody else, he's not going to do it. Why what would I, Why did I not touch it? Or why would I not touch it? Messi, Shah was explaining to Angel, say, because Angel, I don't 
they support Ilebaya at this point that, oh, why money is even doing this thing too much? He's overdoing it. That's how he wrote a song and he didn't allow really anybody to see song. Song that's supposed to be for everybody. Wager task that is a general house collective task. He's hiding a song. So what are you doing? He has been doing this thing. If you know that you want to do the thing alone, it is a wager task. You can't do that. In fact, this on a song, no even sweet. This on a high life on a rice and they call an Afro beat. I say, oh. Killer, be killer, jewelry, kairiti, jewelry. Angel just come by market, but you know, message I was explaining to Angel that oh, Angel, me as I'm here, it's not about say oh, if it's mercy, will you do it? If it's prayer, will you do it? None of us go come, come sit down here, begin to oppress this computer. Let us be genuine and sincere with ourselves. Well, Angel said yes, that's true. But then, even if she was the one here, maybe white money was going to tell her oh. Uh, waiting the apple, waiting they do here or something like that, but reducing volume and putting it off is over the board. And well, it makes sense, and even though save that one, uh, but then in the first place, you know, won't come and sit down here. Sha sha sha, they had that one, and then that one passed. So, guys, let me know what you think about this whole fight. What do you think is our fault? What is going on here? Let us just talk about it in the comment section below. Now, let's talk about the fights that happened with Alex, EK. Of course, Adekunle and Venita. Now, the whole drama that went on at the pool party, in case you do not know, you see Alex, Alex whole Ike like this, like she held him by his shirt and started blowing him, like just punching him, like giving him basketballs, basketball. You see the way doing just they fight, they fight demons on that upstairs. They box that. <laughs> Anyways, you know, Alex was punching him like that. And then when they got into the house, we realized that Alex felt like Ike was drowning her at the pool. So she decided to fight back. And that was why she did that. The housemates were like, oh my God, Alex actually went physical and on Ike. And Big Brother might give you a punishment. She was like, she doesn't know. But what had happened was that she was fighting for her life. She doesn't know what was going on. But Adekunle and Venita were trying to explain to Alex that Alex, so maybe Ike be they tried to drown you. In the actual sense, this boy was trying to help you out when he saw that you were struggling with the water. But Alex is like, you people are going to understand me too. I didn't think he was trying to save me. At that point, I was already going. My legs are not touching the ground. So in my mind, he was trying to pull me down. So I just fought back. So anybody who wants to see him any other way, and I saw Alex, they shout, Adekule, they shout. Then the whole Adekule, then the whole Alex. Praise on the whole Alex. Alex, calm down. Alex, stay. Alex, this. Hmm. Alex, no grief. Adekule on the other end, so in the shouts, you need to bring your voice down if you want to talk to me. Talk to me with your voice down because if you raise your voice at me, I am also going to raise my voice at you. I am also going to raise your voice at you. That was how they went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. At the end of the day, we saw where Alex had gone to meet Ike because at this point now, Ike had started crying. I don't know why he's crying like that. Whether it's because, ah, if I don't blow this gear back or do I want big ten, but he couldn't. I don't know why that, whether that was why he's crying or the punch where Alex punch out because he like, I see Alex the heavyweight champion. <laughs> she be <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The poor J Alex watch her to enter. But he was crying at that point, and Alex went and met him. I was just trying to explain her own point of view that no, I thought you were drowning me. I didn't think that you were saving me. So that was why I did what I did. Perinal came too, was trying to console him. He was like, he doesn't want people to see him this way. So Alex was shut down, shielding prayer from talking to him. I said, Allah the boy make you also talk sorry. Now not really go console the EK. Sha sha sha, they had that going on. Away from that, let's also talk about Sissy and Ike having a conversation. Now that Ike, I don't clear. Ike don't well now. You know, they cry again. In friends, Sissy can't come. Some of them, they had their conversation, of course. Their nice conversations before they went to bed. So when the camera got to them, they were apparently talking about Perry. And Sissy was just stating that disgust, displeasure, hatred, whatever it was for Perry. And she was just talking about how, see this one, see this one, no. he that was begging me in my DM since 2018. Ike said, yes, not true. Don't talk and be forcing day or DM since 2018. She said, yes, he has been in my DM since 2018. Person who I know even give face. He came, he came to Nigeria, has been calling me, he wants to see me. I've been giving him excuses, telling him that no, he's not going to see me all those things because I'm busy, forming busy for him. Busy when I deliberate him because I don't want to see him. In the air, they come from something. This boy is, is this, this boy is that. If you come, sorry, I don't do. Let's not talk about this matter again. It's okay. Let's let it slide. Sissy say, okay, let me just say this last one. Can I just say this last one about Perry before we move on? Let's just say this last one. Now, okay, so yeah, say this last one. After this last one, you know, go talk about Perry again. She say, yes, let me just say this last one. That's how she say, in that his season, I don't know if you watch that his season, but that's how he was with that girl, Maria. Maria that he didn't do anything with. He went around telling people that, oh, he fingered her. Like, why would you lie? He's such a liar. Why would you say that about Maria? Why would you say that about so This boy is such a... I said, what's going to happen this night again? What's in the boy do you? At this point, I need to understand what's in parents do, Sissy, because ah, the matter don't tire me. The matter come long. Ah, ah, ah. Kill her, be killer, do you carry it through away. Anyway, Sha, 
I said I should come and tell you people, oh, this is the gist that I have for you guys in this video. If you have come this far, you're the MVP. Please don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe if you're yet to. And do not forget to also turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much. And until next time, I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.